Ken Bolke, Vegas. did they say anything to you on the breakaway, whether it should have been a penalty shot or not? Did they give you any explanation? No, I didn't really. I mean, I was sort of asking a little bit, but uh, no, he just said it was uh, two guys real close to him, and they didn't think it was a penalty shot. Brian Feldman, out on Fox Sports Radio. Max Pacioretty, how yeah. is he? Well, they t when he left the game, they told me he's not returning tonight, and uh, we'll know more later. Jesse Granger with The Athletic. Two games in a row, really good third period, and it happens when the defensemen are pinching a lot, and obviously you do that when you're down. How do you get them to do that early in the game, and is that how you want them to play from the start? That's how we play. I mean, that's how we got to play that from the start. I think we showed a little bit too much respect early in the game. I thought we played a pretty good game overall for the most part, but uh, the third period was uh, it's the way we got to play. Yeah, we like to play like that for 60 minutes, and I think we, wouldn't, uh, we won't be at the losing end too often if we play like that. We've kind of talked a little bit about executing the end of the plays. Is there anything you could change to finish these chances? Feels like you're getting a lot of chances. They're just not going in. Um, just keep working at it. I mean, keep going to the net, get more traffic at the net. It's the same old cliche that every coach says, but that's what it is. You know, keep putting pucks there. We're, we're out chancing and out scoring. We're not out scoring, but out chancing and more shots than most teams. And we just got to get hungrier. Dave on the left. Dave Shane, Review Journal. Uh, obviously, you thought it was offside, otherwise you wouldn't have challenged, but just what are your thoughts on maybe how that affected things at the time going forward I don't forward think or it anything? affected. I mean, if they would have scored, made it 4-1, it would have been a, a huge thing at the time. But again, from what I saw and what I look at and what we communicate with, the, with our video people, I, I would make the call again today. I mean, it was a tough call. I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys get the thing from the NHL saying it was uh, it wasn't like it was a clear offside. They weren't they weren't sure of themselves, and they just they couldn't overturn it with the evidence. So it was close, and you know, like I said, it's, it was worth the gamble at that time. Uh, Shangbang hockey bus. Obviously, you guys scored on a power play. That's a good thing. Were you happy though with the chances created by both units? Uh, to be honest with you, Shang, I, I think there were some chances, but to, you know, I'll look at the tape and uh, know more after that. I mean, when in the heat of the battle, I, you know, some nights I come up here and I say, well, we had a lot of good chances, and then I look at the tape and said, well, there wasn't as lot of as many chances as I thought there was. So I think there was a, it was a nice goal to score. We, you know, we shot the puck, and just got we got to make sure we're better. We got to keep executing and keep pushing with it and working with it and see where we're at. Adam. Uh, how did uh, how, how did not having Patrick for most of the game affect you know the team kind of having to rotate lines and everything else? Yeah, we got to rotate lines and put guys in different positions. But I thought it was okay. You know, I mean, like you said, you hate to lose a, a, a player like Patrick early in the hockey game, but uh, that's what coach is all about. You got to mix your lines up and, and see how it goes. And like I said, a lot of guys played a few more minutes than they usually play. And uh, Marshall so was late coming out for the third. Was that equipment issue or? Yeah, that's okay. all it was. Skates.